hello welcome to everyone in this video this is our part 2 for the solution on electricity magnetism cc3 paper on the year 2023 in physics honor under university of calcutta for semester 2 you can see this is the total question paper this is question number 1 this is question number 2 and 3 then question number 4 5 6 and 7 in the first part we discuss question number one in this part we will be discuss question number two and three in upcoming session we will be continue these two also first question says a positive charge q is divided into two positive point charges q1 and q2 this q is divided into two point that is q1 plus q2 is capital q so that for a given separation the force exerted by the charge will be greatest if q1 q2 equals to q by 2 so if you take the separation d the force will be like that and q2 is nothing but q minus q1 q2 is nothing but q minus q1 so if you just put this value uh, you will be obtained so at greatest value this first derivative will be zero if you take the first derivative this will gives you q equal to q1 and q2 you also find out the second derivative i think you need to find out the second derivative the first derivative will be like that if you take the second derivative d2f dq1 square this gives you minus 1 and this gives you minus 1 so this is minus 2 less than 0 so this is the greatest for maximum point you know no the second derivative will be less than 0 so this will be the greatest actually for maximum and minimum for, for both this will be 0 but uh, in maximum this will be less than 0 so this satisfy okay so clear next question state and explain Gauss law in a dielectric medium in a dielectric medium Gauss law is divergence equal to rho by epsilon right so if you taking the um, uh, integration in volume integration you will be get this form this is the nothing but the integral form and this is the Gauss uh, uh, theorem right Gauss theorem so in dielectric medium this is actual the Gauss law differential form of Gauss law and this is the integral form and this rho is the volume charge density epsilon is the permittivity of this medium next question say find the charge density in a region where the potential is this one this is the potential you need to find out the charge density for that you need to know the Poisson's equation that is get square v equals to minus rho by epsilon naught this already proved in the first lecture so rho is nothing but epsilon minus epsilon naught get square v so for that you need to find out get square v so v is nothing but this one take the grad v uh, i cap del del x j cap del del y that one so i cap del del x gives you minus 2 b x and there is a x this one for j cap this is for y and for k cap this is 0 taking the uh, dot product with uh, this one taking the dot product of this one you will be get del x of this one del y of that one and not del z so this gives you this integral form rearranging them these two are cancel out only minus 4b are present so rho is nothing but minus epsilon naught uh, grad square v so value of grad square v is minus 4b so this is 4 epsilon b right so the answer that is the charge density is 4 epsilon b clear next question say what is mean by dipole moment of an electric dipole electric dipole is nothing but two equal and opposite charge separated by a distance this is called electric dipole and the dipole moment is nothing but the charge into their separation charge into their separation is the dipole moment okay next is to find out the mutual potential energy of two dipoles with moment at the lying separation this is the uh, mutual potential energy of two dipoles and there is the same direction so this gives you square and this gives you this square so this is minus 2 into this one so putting this value of r and 1 by 4 pi epsilon 9 into 10 to the 9 and p1 p2 you will finally uh, obtain this um, value energy value in terms of joule in terms of electron volt electro volt you will be obtain this relation next question say find the electric field at a distance z above the center of the circular ring of radius r which carries a uniform line charge density lambda what will be the value of electric field when z very much greater than r common and use result so if you taking this at a distance uh, z with volume line charge density lambda so you can see for the, the, that small region the electric field with this one there is a component cos and sine this co sine component are cancel out because of 
because of the symmetry for that point if you take this point for that one there is a d here and this angle also theta this is theta so there is d cos theta and along that one d sin theta so sin theta component are cancel out only cos theta component present so this is d cos theta what is the d 1 by 4 pi sin lambda r d theta because for that one uh, charge is lambda into r d theta this is r d theta so by r square z square and cos theta is nothing but uh, this base by hypotenuse this okay so taking the integration of uh, theta that is 0 to 2 pi you will be obtained actually this theta and this theta are not same Act here the theta is this that one this is the theta and you can take this is prime this prime actually cancel out okay this is prime right i think clear so uh, finally you obtain this integral value because there is constant z r all are constant only d theta is integrated which gives you 2 pi right so if you just calculating this will be gives this one uh, and 2 pi r lambda is total charge lambda is total charge so in terms of total charge this one or otherwise is a for 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 uh, if you there is smaller is capital r so you will be give this one or in terms of lambda you can write down this one because 2 pi r lambda you can write down this is the uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this is 2 pi r lambda z divided by r square plus z square whole to the power 3 by 2 okay so if uh, this is uh, very much greater than 2 r this can be written as z square so will be give this one or in terms of lambda this is gives you 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 pi r lambda divided by z square to z k okay this is the electric field clear this is the similar that is the point charge in from this is like a point charge for at a far distance you can see this uh, ring like a point charge next question there is an infinite grounded conducting plane forming xy plane and point charge plus q placed in the z axis at z equals to d find out the potential and feel in this region use the method of image if the method of here, this conducting plate like a mirror and this is d there is a minus d there is a minus q image is formed the boundary condition at z equal to 0 this is 0 and at very large distance this is 0 so at any point if you consider at any point if you consider at any point this p point which is x y z so at that point you need to find out potential for this charge and for that charge okay for this charge and for that charge so the electric field will be minus grad b so taking the gradient will be get this situation uh, i think you can do this calculation uh, i just the calculation is very small space so i think you can do this uh shell derivative okay so this is all about this two question in next question and next video will be continued to question also this is all about me. This is my contact detail and this is my YouTube channel. So take care. We'll meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.